Hello there, this is Melek, uh, and welcome to uh, episode, was it 18, something like that, of my Let's Play Minecraft Season X. Now, here we are, I've grabbed some wood, grabbed some stone, I've got everything I need just to get this thing underway. Now, obviously I've not got <laughs> the, um, I've got a few. Whee! Ha ha ha, you stupid creature. Sorry, I just find that hilarious. Um, now, this is not going to be the middle of the tower. What this is going to be is... Um, is actually going to be slightly annoying because I'm not then going to catch the blocks. That's fine. I could just sort of... I wonder if that's a good point. Will, will hovering actually... Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty slow at the old... Um, yeah, I'm pretty slow at that. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this away. And then do this. Now, this just means that I've got a base. Now, I basically want this to be one of the sides. And I'm just trying to think of the orientation of it. This is going to basically be the back of the tower in a way. Um, which means that's the back of the tower, which also then means I need to build out a bit and then build toward the center of the tower. So the direction I'm building now is toward the center. Now the tower is going to be similar design in a way, not quite the right place to put that, similar design in a way to the Tower of Season 1. You know, it's going to have, you know, it's going to be round and it's going to have multiple levels. But instead, but back then I had the stairs right in the middle. Now, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have the tower with the entrance at one end. Now I need a lot of cobble, a lot of cobble. But what I can do is I can make the ground level a bit of a storage area. The next level up maybe. Uh, the infusion altar level, you know, near the bottom. Something along those lines, who knows. And then we can see how things go. Something along those lines. Now, I've also got plans on how I'm going to make it pretty. <laughs> um, I'm going to put colored glass, different color on each level. It's almost from the back going to be subtly rainbow, uh, but each color is going to denote a different level. I know, I have actually have a plan. And then I believe, and I will double check this, of course, but I believe this is the size that I want to make it. Now, I reserve the right to change my mind as I build things. But I'm fairly certain, not only do I woefully lacking um, and, and the bricks department. Um, this is all the bricks I've got. But this ground level, so I think I think this is about it. Does that look about right? We've got five there, one on its own, five there, and we'll have one on its own again. This is my way of counting. Technically, it's doing that. I'm counting the spaces inside rather than the walls. Otherwise, it's five and two walls, whereas inside, it's five spaces and one space. I think that this is the basic structure. But yeah, the moment I saw that um, infusion altar thing, I'm like, whoa, this is um, going to require some special stuff, you know. Okay, I believe, I mean, this is not a huge amount of space, but the tower is going to be tall. Um, 
Each level is going to occupy 10 blocks. Each floor is going to be about uh, three blocks thick. Look at that, and I just hover. It's amazing. I love it. I love that. I just, I just love it. Wow, wow, wow. I might make a slight dip, you know, with steps, so that once I'm down there, I can kind of walk up. Because, yeah. But, yeah, I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. But this level, I need torches. Wow, I'm, I'm resorting to torches again. This bottom level is not going to have the usual windows, though. So I'm just going to build these. Put a torch on each side to keep some illumination. And yeah, this is the the starting of the tower. So my it will I will arrive on this level, I will exit, and then there will be two more lifts, if you know what I mean. Um, and they will then just simply take me up one level. It all makes sense. It'll make I might just go down and grab some of those that are down there under the water actually. Just grab them, bring them up, job done. But I will, I will have um, a means to get up to the next level. I have not explored in that direction at all. So many waypoints. It, it looks ugly, but they're really useful. They have a good purpose. Yeah, they have a good purpose. One that it definitely needed. Ah, the moon rising with my new home, with my new magic tower. It's um, it's gonna be a long build. If I can get, if I can get the second level, build the infusion altar, because the ball, the the research for the ball. Let me check. The research for the ball came from the infusion altar. Yeah, look at that arcane infusion. Oh wow, look at this. Instability moderate. Oh good grief, this sounds bad. So I need to So to make the arcane bore You have discovered a device capable of extending the range and the power of an excavation focus The even greater use is the fact that your machine can do so without your constant supervision You merely need to place it on a specially constructed base point it in the right direction with a wand and apply a redstone signal The arcane bore requires two things to function first is an excavation focus placed in its leftmost inventory slot. Any enchantments applied to the focus will also alter the function of the bore. You know, you could enchant focuses, but that's cool. Secondly, you need to place any kind of pickaxe into the rightmost slot. The material of the pickaxe will have little effect on the operation of the bore, but the greater its durability, the longer it will last. Like the one, any enchantments or special abilities of the pickaxe will also be applied to whatever the bore mines. An arcane ball can only be placed above or below an arcane ball base. Any item's mind will be ejected from the base in the direction its nozzle is pointing. It will eject into an inventory if possible. This direction can be changed with a wand. So basically you just slap a chest next to it and it fills up the chest. Gotcha. Okay. The ball can be powered, can be powered with perditio. Essentia or vis which will greatly speed the rate at which it mines. This or Essentia can be provided by pipes and or relays as not relays. Pipes or relays as normal. One point of Pedito Essentia will speed the ball for the next 20 blocks mined. Alternatively, five CV is required per block mined and the ball can accept up to 100 CV per tick. CV? this to do with the relays? I'm guessing that's to do with the relays. Either way, it requires... Basically, the arcane bore base is trivial. That's a trivial construction. But the actual bore itself, that's going to take a little bit more effort. I need diamonds for starters. Four of the bloody things. Four bloody diamonds. I haven't found any diamonds. You know what? Well, next time I find diamonds, I'll, tr I'll probably find about four, give or take. The average is, what, three, four in one cluster, something like that? 
Need to get an enchanting table as well. It's oh, another thing I'll need on another level of this tower. Uh, at least they can be picked up, definitely picked up easier. Whereas the infusion, the infusion altar, that, that just looks awesome. Now I want to know, is, is that ground that's been built there, they specially designed that ground to look like that? I'm assuming they must have. And also, hang on a second. You need a piston in the middle, and then you surround it with things. Now, it said that you're supposed to balance them, so I'm guessing that the order that these are on this picture is not necessarily the best way of doing it, because it's said about opposites, having it symmetrical. So you're probably best to put the shovel opposite to the pickaxe, and then the two golds opposite, two shards opposite, and then the two great wood plants opposite, but that's eight different things. And they need to all be on pedestals. And there's only, there's only some pedestals here. There's only four. How much space is that? That's a three by three. According to that, you've basically got a seven by seven area. I'm just going to put some wood down just to imagine how, because I may have to then revise the design of the tower to fit such huge structures. Okay. That's basically the structure of that. And then it has things out here. Wow, that's actually pretty damn big. I, I think I might need to make my tower a bit bigger. Now, this is all assuming, of course, that I don't... Yeah, I mean, you could fit an infusion altar in this tower. I think it would be better just to go one little bit bigger. What do you think? I think so. Because I do have a 7x7 seven seven area, but it looks to me like that altar only has four pedestals around it. And you definitely need more than four. I mean, it would be nice if I could put the pedestal, the, the like them there, but I still think a slightly larger. Yeah, I still think a slightly larger base would be a good idea. Which is a bit of a pain, but not too much. Not too much. Um, what I'll do is I'll just. Dig this out. Hey, it was good that I actually, you know, tested this out. before committing to uh, okay I actually leave them in because they're actually something slightly different I'll just expand the tower I need to make sure I get the right kind of circle because I don't want to just expand it diagonally and end up being an octagon I want it to actually be a circle and I think it won't just be pure diagonal I think I think it means extending a block to there, and then one to there, and then expanding this out again. I think that's what a proper circle will be for this. I'm not 100% sure. Let me, you know, let me double check. Okay. Um, I, I believe that I'm right, based on my understanding. So...
At least it's daytime and I can dig away the torches without being particularly concerned about the darkness. Either falling to my do well, it's just water, who cares? Um, or whatever. So, we stick that out there, that out there, and then we build in that direction. There. That is... Yeah, because it's still five along there. It's then two there, then it's two there, then it's basically five again. Two. No, wrong way of two. Two there. Two there. I think it goes to be five along here. Ah. <laughs> wow. I've I've used up a lot. But the the beauty of this entire thing is that I have more space. The infusion altar is gonna be it's gonna be um cozy maybe? Uh, cozy? It's fine. Um let's um collect these now. Just because four more is not going to be enough for me to do what I want. There we go. So I just need to build another wall here out of blocks I don't have. I need a lot more cobble. But, but, I don't have to build the walls yet. This is huge. This is huge. This this is this feels much bigger. And in theory, if I want to make an infusion altar, I basically need that much space. So I will come up here, and here will be the infusion altar. I may then need things here, but I might be able to move them even closer. Um, what might be beneficial is to move it back one more step and then have some sort of pedestal or, or not pedestal, but you know what I mean? Uh, some sort of standing point where I can look over the entire thing. A, a, a rate. Yeah. How about a, a balcony kind of thing, which I can kind of walk around and watch it from above. That could work. So let's say for the sake of argument, it goes there. There's actually, oddly enough, it basically happens there. You put the thing in the middle that you want to infuse. That's the basic structure. We know from the picture you put pedestals here, here, not there, here. And then you may or may not have to put them here, but if you can get them closer, even better. That then is your infusion altar, based on what I understand. The other thing is I can have little steps, and I can have a little um, balcony kind of walkway that's got no railings. I can then run around the outside, keeping an eye on everything, because it says things fall off pedestals. So I think that I'm also going to need some space for jars, but they can be down here, like underneath the, the balcony type thing, or just out here, or in the middle somewhere. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't exactly know how that works. I've got room to work with. I've got room to work with. And worst case scenario, I can make different levels. Of, I was going to make different levels of the tower slightly narrower and fatter than before. So the next floor up might be narrower. The next one up will be larger. So... If I do need something larger, I'll just do it the other way around and make the next level even larger than this one. I like this. 
hell, I might just have this ground floor as my infusion altar. So at least if it all goes shit shaped, um, it only blows the bottom of my tower. <laughs> but uh, I think it's just flux and going insane. But this this is all right. This this is potentially good. I mean, I'm liking it. I was going to turn around and uh, use storage. I've got workbenches. Oh, well. Um, it doesn't matter. I have workbenches now. Maybe having wooden steps in here is probably not such a good idea. But what I will do... I want to look at the different um, types of chest, because you can do different metals, different types of chest, can't you? Let's make one chest, so I've got a double chest here. And at least then I've got a fair amount of storage. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. It's it's the beginning, you know? It's it's the beginning of the end. You see, I dug a trench there just so that, you know, when I have got more shards than I know what to do with, I can make the uh, walking on water thing. I am totally doing it. Just don't expect it to be any time soon, honestly. Because oh, I'm way over here. Yeah, Minecraft music. Okay. Still got that crap in there. I'm, I'm looking forward to some of this building. I really, really am. Yeah, let's let's move on to uh, pork chops. Wow. No. How do you do this again? There we go. Just empty them out. Job done. Could make a hole in the roof. Could move this over there to the, to the tower. Could put a waypoint on the tower. <laughs> There's a lot of things I could do. The arcane ball, though. I mean... That will get me a lot of stone. You see, now my brain is saying, make the infusion altar. That's what my brain is telling me to do now, but I'll be honest with you and say, I think the boar is one of the more complicated recipes. Pickaxe of the core, purifying heat. Next to the stream, sword of the angry winds, purifying heat, hoe of growth. Boots of the traveler. That looks like it requires infusion. Let's have a little research of that. Um, and see what we can do. Because, you know, otherwise we're going to end up getting the whole infusion thing wrong. Because we're starting off with a complicated recipe. Well, I'm assuming it's a complicated recipe anyway. Anyway. We have earth and water. That's good. Feathers are like air and, and something else. Air and movement. And movement can be um, order or air. So that's... Uh, so movement can be something else. It's that stuff. Well, there's movement and earth. Oh, I see. So, okay, right. Earth. Life, because that gets me to Earth. Um, the feather goes to movement. And did we say that movement goes to the wiggly thing? Yes. And then we put life in there. Because life is just water and Earth. So I can just alternate Earth and all sorts. I can just keep on going.
I'm just trying to think, you know, what have I got a lot of aspect-wise? And I'm aiming now for Earth and to a lesser degree water, just because I've got a lot of Earth. Um, and then I can alternate to the crystal stuff. Order, we need, I need more order. And scan more nodes. Nodes are a good source of, of researchy things. So, we have... Um, boots of the... Oops. Thermostatic harness. What the hell? Runic shielding. Shields up. Boots of the traveler. Okay, so we only need six things in this particular one. Any kind of fish, apparently. <laughs> the hell? Leather boots, some air shards, some enchanted fabric, feather, a fish. Negligible instability. So basically, that would be a more sensible recipe to start with. Make some magic boots. Enchanted fabric. An arcane workbench. Okay, let's get some spider silk. And wool. We don't have any wool. Hmm. Literally don't have any wool. This disappoints me. And I don't have much string. How the hell do I not have much string? So I can make string out of flax with this new... And flax is just going to be something I find, I'm guessing. Eh, it's disappointing. Okay. What else was coming out of the infusion altar? Lamp of fertility, lamp of growth. Casting a romantic light on things, for goodness sakes. Shall I look at one of these pickaxe things? Let's look at the sword. I think the boots probably will be easier, but... Uh, well, I mean... Eh? Right, well the first thing I know about the daggery stuff is you can go straight... Yeah, straight down to fire. Air can go straight to Lux, which can go to fire. But air and, do air and Earth make something? Again, I'm trying to go to Earth. I don't think Air and Earth make anything. I know you can... Yeah, trees. Trees have air in, and then they eventually get to Earth. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, plants. Oh, no, plants are technically more expensive because it's got life as well. So it, it's a lot more. Yeah. It's got life. Now, Potentia. There it is. It's got fire and order in it. I'm thinking fire because I've got more fire. Now. Life has got water and earth. So I'm going to have to come up with something creative to get two fires into life. Well, fire and all sorts of stuff. Doesn't fire and perditio make something? I can't remember. That's jellum. But life is connected via mortis. So. See, in my attempt to get to Earth, I've kind of, well, I've not dead-ended myself, but I've kind of half dead-ended myself. See, now I've got, maybe, maybe I just shouldn't go to Earth. What's the best way to get to Earth from fire? I don't think there is one. But 
but that's water as well. So can I get from fire to water? Well, I know if I go to Jellum and then Pedito, uh, there's like a poison type thing. Oh, this is awful. Look how, oh, this is terrible. Oh yeah, this is an awful recipe. It's like the worst recipe ever. <laughs> oh, and I've done it that way and I could have kind of gone round the other way. Oh, this is terrible. Have you seen how awful this is? It's terrible. Um, it's the one I know though. So I'm gonna do poison. Oh, good grief. I, I apologize to everybody's sensibilities because this this is awful. It, it, I, I got it. Uh, but um, at what cost? Oh, this is an even simpler thing to make. It requires a diamond, though. Damn it! <laughs> okay. But it's a recipe that I can do that's going to be easier. And it's a thormium sword. Ooh, I hadn't thought about making a thormium sword. Nice. While blocking, the sword will conjure a sphere of... Okay, no. You have merged elemental fury of air shards with a thormium sword. When used to strike a foe, the blade will sweep in a wide arc, hitting additional foes near your main target. Sounds awesome. While blocking, the sword will conjure a sphere of swirling, whirling winds around you, pushing enemies and loose objects away and deflecting incoming projectiles. Oh, wow. And it will also lift you slowly in the air while blocking. Okay, that sounds like an awesome, awesome thing. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. So I've got three recipes that all require an infusion altar now. Uh, I need an ender pearl, which I don't think I've got an ender pearl. I could go hunting Endermen. I've got Ender Fragments, but no actual Ender Pearls. Interesting, though. <laughs> oh, hello. A lot of evil things. Well, you could always go up to the ceiling. Hello, spider. Well, anyway, um, I think that's it for this episode. I think I've gone well over time, but hey, I don't know, whatever. Um, I will bid you all farewell, and of course, until next time, next exciting episode, uh, I bid you all farewell, and of course, cheerio. <laughs>